Świętujemy dzisiaj 80. rocznicę przybycia 500 polskich dzieci do Altshuern w Afryce Południowej. W 1943 roku polskie dzieci, którym udało się wydobyć z, z obozów śmierci na Syberii, trafiły właśnie tutaj do Altshuern i spędziły dalszą część wojny właśnie tutaj. Afryka Południowa okazała się bardzo gościnnym miejscem dla nich, aż do tego stopnia, że większość z nich pozostała w Afryce Południowej i weszła, dorosła tutaj, weszła w, w to społeczeństwo. Ci ludzie założyli rodziny, mieli dzieci i ta cała społeczność zaczęła się rozrastać. Bardzo wielu członków tej społeczności jest tu dzisiaj z nami i świętuje właśnie to. W trudnym czasie Afryka Południowa udzieliła schronienia polskim dzieciom. Będziemy to pamiętać zawsze. Jest to naprawdę dobry przykład przyjaźni między Polską i Afryką Południową. Food was very nice. We got bananas, we got oranges, we got other things there. And the food was fine. I mean, after after Russia, that was that was very very good. But The, my uh, physical ability was very poor for years to come, up, even after that. Dla Polaków chcę powiedzieć, że um, akademicznie ja zawsze byłem, dobrze stałem i miałem zawsze marzenie do dążenia do czegoś, żeby, być, żeby mieć coś, żeby, mieć, żeby skończy, skończyć uniwersytet, tylko nie wiedziałem w jaki sposób. I bo, bo zawsze coś mnie popychało zawsze, zawsze coś mnie popychało naprzód i przez, przez to dostałem, zrobiłem całą bardzo dobrą karierę w południowej Afryce. Po prostu zostałem inżynierem elektrycznym. I was so moved to see him standing there. I had a mixture of pride, just knowing how far he's come in life from such a difficult beginning. And I just was moved emotionally just to imagine him living there as his normal place of, of resting his head at night. So I'm very proud of my father. Church service is conducted by the Reverend F. Kubienski, who is also in charge of the camp. Finally, in 1943, we landed up in Otson in the army camp. Most of them were three, two, three years older than me. I was one of the youngest, and the priest always said to me, because he got me to serve Mass. I became an altar boy when I was nine years or eight or nine years old, served on a regular, uh, every day's Mass for the five years that we were there. But there's a lot of sadness that, you know, there were little children having to live in an environment where they didn't have any parents and would basically rely on teachers and older siblings or, or sometimes siblings, sometimes friends to kind of like turn to. You know, initially when we were younger, he would basically not talk very, very little. If we asked him about it, he would ask what we want to know. So as a child, it didn't affect us at all because they never really told us anything. It was, they kind of said they came from Siberia and we just kind of went, okay, they were, they're Polish people who came from Siberia and we had no clue what it all meant. It was like, it was just something that as kids, because the Polish kids all like hung together and when we hung together, it was something, but we never really spoke about it. They never spoke about it. When we, we arrived in Port Elizabeth by boat, And we were uh, seven years in quarantine and we came to Ochon. I can't remember much, but it was a great relief because we had food. Ja jestem bardzo wdzięczna dla południowej Afryka, że zrobili teraz tę okazję, żeby przypomnieć, że i my wdzięczni jesteśmy specjalnie dla południowej Afryka. A żonu, że nas tu wzięli i pilnowali, doglądali, bo myśmy wszyscy byli wygłodzeni, wymęczeni i 
to, to przypomina, przypomniało nam się te wszystkie. Finally, our parents' story has a voice because it was a very hidden part of history. So I'm actually tear up when I think about it, but now that our parents have passed away and most of them are all gone, how important it is for us. You know, we've listened to their stories. Like my dad um, was one of five siblings. And it always struck me how my grandfather managed to get them out of Russia, all five of them alive, whereas most families had lost, if you speak to a lot of people, their parents had lost a sibling. The next step is to now get the next generation, the third generation, is to also build on that familial bond. So that's the significance of yesterday. And um, I had a brief chat with a third generation and um, she was, wow, emotionally uh, excited by yesterday's, Sunday's um, proceedings. So yes, it's a, it's a case of keeping the family together and growing the family, growing the familial bonds. So that's the significance of it all.